Hello traders, this is Chris from AAAFX taking a look at the euro. You can see that we initially tried to rally but then gave back gains. Pretty crushing day, but we're still in the same consolidation. Really, as dramatic as the day was, not much has changed. I suggested that perhaps we needed to pull back. So now I'll be watching this area right around 108 and a half to 108 to see if it holds. If it doesn't, then I start to short. Um, meantime, I do think there is a proclivity for buyers to step into this area. So we'll have to wait and see whether or not we reach this area and bounce. If we do and we take 109 back, or even if we just do it from here, there's a real possibility that we head back towards 110. That being said, it was the end of the month, so that might have had something to do with it as well. Plus, 110, of course, is a major round figure. A lot of options barriers there. So I think this all comes into um, play, and therefore, we may be stuck in this like 150 pip, 175 pip range for a minute here. Uh, pretty nasty candlestick. Uh, but you can see that we shot straight up in the air previously. So a lot of volatility. There was a lot of movement in the bond market today. That has a lot to do with this as well. U.S. bonds have been, um, the yields have been dropping pretty drastically. That had to end sooner or later. It ended pretty nastily. We'll have to wait and see how this plays out. Uh, but clearly we're entering a value zone. So that'll be interesting to see if these traders step back in. It is something worth watching on the Friday session. But also keep in mind, it's a Friday. It is not a non-farm payroll Friday. It's just a normal Friday. So once you get later in the day, there may be a little bit of a lack of liquidity. Non-farm payroll is not on this Friday because it is the first of the month. They, they never have it on the first of the month. So it will be the following Friday.